Hello YouTube! Today I'll be showing you guys how to strip the gold off of these um, PCI cards and one RAM stick in the middle. Just basically how to remove them. How to remove the gold pieces. So all we need is a um, simple little um, metal sheet cutter, sheet metal cutter. And this is what we do. So we start off with the um, really old ISA bus, I believe, um, type connector. So all we do is we just go along here and cut. And voila, it's gone. So, we are left with our gold plated piece. Put that to the side. Now let's do the second one. Just do the same thing with this one. Here, this is a piece of RAM here. Pretty old. There's even some gold plating all over it, so you want to save this for later processing. Just move all the chips and all the um, little surface mount components and then dissolve the solder in some hot um, hydrochloric, if I believe correctly. So now, you just, once again, cut. And there you go. Nice piece of gold. Let's keep going. And there we go with our second piece. So now we got a nice clean ram stick with some gold plating to save for later. And third, this piece. Oops, sorry about that. This always happens every single time I record for some reason. So now this one's a bit tricky because it has a capacitor in the way. So all we do is we just remove it off the board. You can twist them, or you can just grab our wire cutters and just pull off the chip, the capacitor that is. There we go. It is now easy to cut. So now, let's begin cutting. This one's a bit thick, but there we go. now there we have it what was once covered with gold plate is now just a peripheral board I believe ram stick in that piece so that's how to remove the gold um, plate connections off the um, peripheral cards as well as RAM but keep in mind that some RAM sticks do not have gold plate, like this one. This is just tin plated. So in this case, this is worthless. There's no silver in it at all. So just keep that to the side and you can sell this online for money because these are vintage or just take off all the chips, put them with your RAM. So that's all I have for you guys. I hope you found that short video useful. And please, if you like this, please comment, tell me what you think. Or tell me what I can do to improve it next time. And subscribe for more content from the E-Scrap Man. And I want to wish you guys an awesome day when you scrap metal. See you later.